And a story that has the potential to derail the political ambitions of Marine Le Pen. The French far-right leader and two dozen others are on trial today, accused of embezzling European Parliament funds. They have denied violating the rules. With me now is Shirley Sitbon. She's at the Paris courthouse covering this trial for us today. Shirley, first of all, what are the charges against Le Pen and the other 26 here? Well, embezzling public funds, European funds, it all goes back uh, to 2004 uh, when the National Front at the time had this great electoral success in the European uh, Parliament. They had several MEPs and they had struggles in France here nationally because they didn't have enough money. They were growing more popular, but they didn't have the necessary funds uh, to work and they wanted to stay in the green. So they found the scheme of using the funds they were allowed to use in the European Parliament, but instead of using them to pay for uh, your parliamentary assistance, well, they used it, uh, they used these people in Paris to do work for the party, to be uh, a bodyguard for the party's leader at the time, uh, to be personal assistants, to be a, a graphic designer. And today in court, we, we saw these people coming to the witness stand and being told what the charges are. And this gives us a bit of a scope of what will happen in the next two months. Uh, and basically what they face, the charges they face, well, uh, it goes from uh, fines, also imprisonment. And what's really important for the party and for Marine Le Pen is the fact that they may lose their possibility to run for elections. They may be ineligible. Uh, and that, of course, is crucial. So we're waiting. And now the trial has started. We've seen all of these uh, top players of the national rally now uh, coming to the stand and hearing their charges. And, Shirley, we were just looking at images of Marine Le Pen herself. She's been in court today. Um, how do you think she came across? Well, she came straight to the press saying that she was pleased to have two months to explain her party's position and to prove to everyone they did, did not embezzle money, that they did not violate European rules, that, according to them, European, uh, you know, MEPs, well, they're allowed to use the funds that are allocated to them the way that they see fit. They can use them in France as well. And we actually heard that in court uh, today, the first defense lawyer started to unravel this uh, European legislation, saying, well, what does this all mean? A public interest in Europe. Well, the party is thinking about the greater good of the population. So basically, it has not violated rules. They're trying to get into those rules and saying that they can be in interpreted in various ways. That's what they're trying to do. That's what they will try to do. Of course, the European uh, Parliament uh, spokespeople who are here have explained to us very clearly, and that was uh, clear throughout the investigation into this, that that is not the rule. The rule is using European funds for the European Parliament for a very specific framework within the mandate of the European Parliament. That's going to be the debate here. And you touched on this a bit earlier, Shirley, but we know this story is attracting significant attention in the French media, but also internationally. Just spell out for us why the trial is such a big deal. Well, yes, as uh, Marine Le Pen's... Uh electoral future is on the line here, because if she is declared guilty, if she does not convince the presiding judges and the judges that she is guilty, that she acted in good faith, well, she may lose the possibility to run in the next election, maybe in 2027, maybe earlier, as she perhaps would like. Uh, this means what well, everything can change on the French political scene. But the national rally is trying to use this trial to turn it over from an accusation and negative images of all the this wrongdoing allegedly, uh, well, basically to say that they're persecuted, they're harassed, that this is a political trial. That's what they're going to attempt to do here in court. But basically, French politics are shaken here in court. Uh, it's the future of the national uh, rally, the future of the French leaders, and also maybe a shift at the top of this party because behind Marie Le Pen, there's Jordan Bardella, the party head, who is not, you know, the, the big man of the party. She is the one who decides everything. But if she is not uh, elect elected anymore, well, maybe he will step up. So a lot is being played out here. Shirley Sitbon, live for us at the courthouse in the north of Paris. Thanks very much indeed.